Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Inna. I'm a Twitch streamer and I also do reaction videos here on YouTube. You are now on my movie, TV series, anime reaction channel, but I have the other one where I do music reactions. I'm so excited to start a brand new journey with you because today we are about to check out the first episode of Fallout, the brand new series on Amazon Prime. One thing, I know that this is based on a video game that I did not play for, so I don't know what the story is about, like I don't have any spoilers, I never played the game, so like I don't know, I don't have the details. The only thing that I know is that like there's some like nucle nuclear type of disaster going on, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen during the series or if it has already happened and now we're like living in a post world. I don't really know, but like that's the only information that I have and I'm so excited to check it out. As always here on YouTube, we're gonna have uh, like copyrighted censored version well if you really want to see the full thing uh you can find it on my patreon uncensored full reaction and yeah we're with no further ado we're gonna get straight into the first episode that is called uh, the end so okay well actually since this is called the end maybe that means that it's the first episode that what stuff happens i don't know let's see together <laughs> Cowboys, ooh, I have a cowboy hat too. <laughs> ooh, I already noticed one thing. Wait, let me go back for a second. Okay, here. Because, like, at first I was like, well, I we like in the Middle Ages or something. Because, like, I'm not sure if this is like a theme party, so everybody's dressed like a cowboy, or uh, if it's like, you know, actually like the way that people dress in that era. But, do you see the skyscrapers over there? That tells me that we are not in the Middle Ages, we are like in modern times. Because, that's lots of skyscrapers and of course we can see like one building that has like looks like a lot of smoke or is that going to be the explosion <laughs> seen from this point of view i don't know let's see oh i'm sorry that i'm pausing so much but this radio okay definitely not middle ages but like 60s probably so we are in modern times but like not right now in 2024 we're like in last century oh it's the cold war let's just focus on the party okay is it the cold war why the hell is cooper howard working kids birthday parties what they say dad hmm? and i'm lucky to have such a good helper like you mm. all right you ready uh, you bet, yeah. All right. Oh, coop, coop, coop. Do your thumbs up. Yeah, you know, given the state of everything, I prefer not to if that's all right. Why not? State of everything? Drop yeah. it, Bob. What happened to him? I have a feeling that something's about to happen. Like, something bad. Ow, I can't... I, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. I'm only thinking happy thoughts I'm not today. Sure bubble oh, okay. So, like, we are being open about the fear of cold war like the guy the weather forecast guy like i'm not gonna be able to to do this if if we don't know if we're gonna be here next week so like there's definitely tension and people are scared that you know bad stuff is gonna happen like tomorrow probably why wouldn't you do it the thumbs up back when i was in the marines they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb they told us to hold up your thumb just like this and if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your thumb? They told us not to bother running. Oh. It's just giving me anxiety already. Who's taking pictures? Oh! So soon! Oh my god, this is giving me chills. Oh no. Favorite cowgirl. Is it your thumb yeah. or mine? Oh. Oh fuck. Oh my god, why am I getting tears in my eyes? That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. It's just a fire? 
Just the fire? Look at that thing! No, he knows. Oh... It's so much bigger than a farm, yeah? That's not just a fire. Oh my god, like, I, I feel like crying. I literally have tears in my eyes. This is giving me so much anxiety. What do you do at this point? Yeah, you try to hide. They are prepared. Bastard! Did you see that? Oh my god. Oh, they're not trying to hide, they're running away. Why aren't they all hiding in the bunker? <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that another explosion? And another one again? Three nuclear explosions? Three? <gasps> That's a big one. So four in total, and the last one was massive. Oh, oh, this is giving me chills. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Oh, like, wait, like, oh, we have watched seven minutes of this thing and I'm already like not feeling great. And we are going 219 years later, later. Okay. Oh my god, Let, let's continue, but again, like, I'm not sure if I'm ready, I hope that I don't cry, because after recording this episode, I actually have to go out, because I have a, a guitar lesson, <laughs> so I hope that I don't arrive to my, to my guitar teacher with uh, his wallet eyes and stuff. <laughs> oh my. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the well-being of my community, and I dabble in riflery. So I'm not very good. <laughs> We're still trying to get my brother on board. He'll come around when he's ready. Oh my god, is that... That guy, isn't that Rico from Hannah Montana? I'm pretty sure that that is, that is him. I haven't seen him in ages. It is with sound mind and body hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. What? What is that? Whatever that means, uh, I um, I bet that it's something good. Lucy. Oh, so they're just introducing us to the characters. Okay. So of course, like we can see, like that basically, uh, humanity like managed to survive. At least like some some humans uh, managed to survive after that explosion. We are two hundred years after that, and like there are probably still things that are uh, being affected by the incident. Um, but humanity surviving and maybe thriving. Let's see. Yeah, that's the guy from Hannah Montana, Rico. That's absolutely him. Oh, so she found a marriage partner. Oh, these are all the brides that wore the dress. Who's, who she's gonna marry? Wow. Projector? Wait, that's not a real thing? Ah, uh, okay. So like what they're working on, like tables and everything that is close is real, but everything else is projected to make them, to like give them that sense of uh, being outside, I'm assuming. This is so sad. Kind of giving me District 13 vibes from Hunger Games. Time. So is she like leaving this vault? Uh, at this point I'm assuming that vaults are the like massive areas, like districts where they live. Yeah. So she's gonna leave her vault to go to another one to get married? Well, looks like it. It looks Perfect. like it. Your husband could be anybody. Looks? Who knows? Big butt, no butt. <laughs> just superficial concern that puts on the inside that counts. That's right. And in that respect, you could be a cannibal or just like... Oh. Uh, just imagine that, like, you're getting married to, to somebody that you don't, don't choose yourself. Wow. Gatekeeper. Chat. Oh. It takes some time to fix. 
Probably best if we reschedule with the 32s until maintenance and I can. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm here to get married. We all know that, Jet. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long term sexual practice, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I mean, it's kind of funny, but it's also sad. <laughs> But it's kind of funny. Now it works. Ugh. It's giving me the churls. The churls. Oh. Welcome they are to already there. Vault 32. Overseer of Vault 33. Mm. Lee Moldaver, Overseer of 32. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegram. As arranged, we offer you seed and parts for machinery. In exchange, we offer you a breeder. So... <laughs> a breeder! So <laughs> a breeder. I'm Lucy. Oh, Monty. he cute! Monty's cute! Monty the breeder is cute! Oh my god, it's insane we're just, we are just get married like that. It's the first time that we meet each other. So what's your sperm count? <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> it's too funny, too funny. Radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation lucy and monty's children will be able to recolonize Ooh. <laughs> that gave me the chills again goosebumps yes. after 200 years i don't know much about what's up there mm -mm. these <laughs> survivors will need to be shown a better way so they like do they know that there are survivors out there in the surface or are they just assuming so What's going on? Why was that thing glitching? Show me to my new home. There's something very odd. Something is absolutely odd. The Christmas mornings around the tree. We have everything with the hand. Oh, the icebox, the blender. They, they his... even gave us. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie! <laughs> Not wasting any time. We really want to make those babies. Okay. <laughs> Please don't show anything too explicit. Please don't show anything too explicit. I'm not watching this part. Why? Okay, it wasn't too long. Okay. Ah. So I'm assuming that this is her brother, right? He's going back to his own vault. Wait, no, where are you going? Why is everything dying here? Who's at fault for that? He has a massive scar here. <laughs> Happy. Okay, here something is obviously wrong. Wait, I just have a question. I'm uh, I'm not sure if I understood if this is the vault where they're coming from or where like the husband is coming from. I'm, uh, this detail is not clear to me. Looks like it might be theirs. Uh oh. Been booming in distance. He has another scar here, an X. Oh my god, what's going on? Booming and yelling in distance? You're from the surface. Trying to kill her? 
Very violent. Oh. Wait, so does that mean... Oh, he has a knife. Does that mean that, like, these raiders from the surface, they killed everybody that was in the other vault? Like, they killed everybody and this, like, they brought the radiation and stuff? Is that what that means? And that explains why the... Um, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. No, don't... Defend yourself, girl! <gasps> Oh, she has the knife now. Uh. Wait. Uh. <gasps> no. Don't remove it now. You're gonna no don't remove it now. You're gonna make it worse. What is that needle gonna do? I'm feeling sick, like I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. That was so graphic and violent. Where is everybody now? Since there's the alarm. Wait, so I'm assuming that, the, like, the needle, the shot that she did, like, it actually helped a lot, because, like, she was literally stu uh, stabbed in her stomach, and now she's walking around, just holding it as if nothing was. Oh! She's a warrior. Whew. Don't lose your head. Who's there? <gasps> oh, shoot! This is war. When you, find you know what's sad? That in the beginning it was like something that mankind did that hurt and killed other men, like a nuclear explosion. And now it's again men harming men. Like, the first case, maybe it was an accident with a nuclear explosion. We don't know for sure what happened there. But it was, like, something that mankind did against mankind. And now it's the same. That was so cruel. Brother is still there, yeah. Oh no, she's gonna save the brother. Yeah, she's not going with him. He's alive. The father saved her. That's cruel. That that's personal. Revenge. It's not like just survival. I'm gonna kill you so that you don't kill me. No, that is uh, Revenge. Where are we gonna go now? Like what do you even do in this situation? What do you do after all of these? Uh, basically everybody died. She takes more weapon. Oh fuck. And that's a bomb, isn't it? Mm. We're not even halfway through the episode and this is already like one of the most inten intense uh, series that I have ever seen. Welcome. Definitely one of the most graphic ones. Oh. Oh. Who's she? Is that the little girl? It can be, right? It's been 200 years, like it's not possible that she's still alive, but she kind of resemble, resembles the, the daughter of the guy of the thumbs. Mm. Them or her. Ooh. Oh well. Oh, 
what he's gonna do? That's a tricky question. I'm sure that it's... No. He has something in mind. You are my world. But there's no world if you're the only one that's alive. Oh wait, no. I'm stupid. I'm not sure if he sacrificed the daughter or everybody else at this point. Did he put her in a safe spot or did he put her there? So like, as if he's choosing everybody else because... Stuff. <laughs> I feel stupid. You look like your mother. And we know that her mother is dead, but we don't know why. Oh. Yeah, he's still alive, right? You should see it sometime. Mm. And what happens to everybody else here? Oh, the fork in the eye. Do best. Ah! Run and hide. It's a bomb. We're not gonna make it. No explosion. Explosion. My god, my god, is she like in a safe room so she survives? I'm not sure. So these are people in the outside world, right? And that's their training, I'm assuming. It looks like real sunshine. Maximus. Oh, okay, so they introduced to us Lacey, Lacey, Lucy, and now Maximus, okay. Can you identify this relic? It's a book. Yeah. Uh, Bruder. A circuit. The ability to defend yourself is but one part of your training. Poor guy. You are more useful as a corpse. Ooh, they are strict. What the hell is that? Is that another cloud or is it like an aircraft, a massive airplane or something like that? There's my answer. There is my answer, right there. What? We are preparing for stuff. Look at that. I wonder why they're here. And we don't know exactly what in the word this is. Like they mentioned America, but like, look at that looks like a desert. Desert mountains, everything has been destroyed completely. Look at those, they are massive, they look strong. Like if you put them on, you're... Yeah, look at them, ha <laughs> ha Fancy putting it on! But I'm assuming that they can't. <laughs> but they might do it anyway, but they do not have the authorization. Oh, he has seen them before as a child. Oh. This was my idea. He didn't want. Summon. Come with me. Summon where and to, to what? Partying? Are we celebrating something? A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. What does that mean, anointed? He feels excluded. I'm assuming. Like I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm assuming that it's something good and like a, like a promotion, of course. So everybody was celebrating, and I'm assuming that he wanted it. He did not get it, though. <laughs> He's mad, mad. Okay, mad, mad. Somebody has some inner anger. Well, Radiation? Some... Oh! Somebody put that very on purpose! Uh, is that him? Is that the guy, Maximus? Who, I'm assuming that like, whoever they took away, they think that he's guilty of doing that. Do they think that it's Maximus? Okay, so they survived and now they're cleaning everything. 
I wonder how often these raids happen. Because, like, they were obviously, like, surprised, but it definitely felt like it wasn't the first time. They knew what to do. Oh, she's still, yeah. Oh, imagine putting stitches on yourself like that. Also, seems like she has done it before. I have a proposal for the assembly. Hmm, let's hear it. Send a search party to the surface to find my dad. They're gonna say no. Our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any yeah. of our doors. Well said, Betty. Sad, but Thank true. You, Betty. Are they gonna go they on their own? Oh, she's gonna find a way to, to escape and do it on her own. Is she gonna do it now? <laughs> is she just gonna go open the doors? I'm, I'm sure that it's not that easy to open them. But it must be like a whole procedure, as we saw in the beginning. In beginning. Oh, she's doing it. She's thinking about it. Oh, so it's the three of them. That other guy joined them too. Okay, that's the one that didn't want to open the vault for her marriage, right? The cousin. Opa, wow. There's lots of security involved there. Lots of it. Oh, she's going alone. <gasps> what you're doing is insane. You don't even know which way to go. The thumb? What was that? What was that? Ah. She did that. Opa! Somebody's coming? Same to you if you try to follow me. I'm too chicken. Thanks. Ah. Oh. Imagine how scary that must be. That's like some sort of massive key. Who's that? Young lady! Young lady! No stopping her now. She's doing it. She's so brave. Like, you have to have the balls to be able to do this. Come on. Like, let's be honest. It's... It's... Yeah. She doesn't know how the outside world looks like. This is probably the first time that she's stepping foot outside. Oh, yeah. Moment of realization that it's actually happening. Rad meter. Ooh. And we are welcomed by a wonderful skull right there. <laughs> what a nice thing to see. Lots of skulls and skeletons, actually. Yeah. What have you? Reassuring. Reassuring. <gasps> Children? Oh, look at all those bodies. Oh my god, this is what is around them. All oh, that's left. Is this Los Angeles and Santa Monica Pier? Is that the Santa Monica Pier? So specific. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. You have a mission, girl. You have a mission. It is Maximus that they took. Did he actually do it? Do we think that it was him? Like, maybe because he was mad, but like, we don't really know him. Maybe it's somebody else's fault. Your fellow aspirants say it was you. No, I, 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 I wouldn't. Oh my god, look at that massive suit behind him. Like the same suit that he was admiring. Oh, oh my god, please don't be I, violent. I, I, I wanted it to happen, is that wrong? Okay, so he's being super honest. Like, I wanted it to happen, but I did not do it. I wanted it to happen, but I didn't do it. You can say that, if that's the truth. I, I want to thank you. Mm hmm? I can help the Brotherhood make it better. Eden, or whatever. Even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. 
Uh, um, uh, is he trying to, to be like, uh, don't kill me because I'm going to do whatever you want. Like, I'm going to do the bad stuff that you don't, you know, that people don't want to do. I'm going to do it. Is that what's going on? Knight Titus, new squire. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, and he's crying, yeah. Of course, of course. Look at that tension and everything. I told him he wouldn't hurt a fly. But he's gonna hurt somebody like i'm still not sure if he did it or not honestly but like he's definitely gonna hurt somebody like if he got promoted and he's gonna have to do stuff right some type of ceremony to protect your lord knight titus your lord knight titus your lord is this game of thrones what the hell oh the old way it's a T. It's a T. This legion. A dog! I love dogs. Did not ex expect to see a dog or like any animals. We haven't seen them yet. Just a doggo. Wait. Companion, dog, and the target? That's not the father, right? Who's the target? Have we seen the target before? That stuff, that thing looks heavy. She is basically like the military, like an army, organized army. It's it, literally what it is. And I can't believe that this is only the first episode. Like so much stuff has happened, but it's only to introduce us to the characters and to the story. I think that Maximus might be like the big enemy of Lucy. Or he, they will be like companions somehow but like so far they are definitely like they belong to opposite uh, alliances <laughs> gunfire in distance cowboy hat again did he get hit Just like that? So is this like a third civilization that we see at this point? I think that so far, so like, um, cause we got introduced to the vault area. We got introduced to the army thing. And now we, we see like what looks to be like another type of uh, society, alliance or whatever. So how many do we have out there? How many people actually survived? And how many groups uh, do we have? And are they all? One against the other? Shouldn't they try to, you know, survive as humanity until the radiations go lower? Like, they are attacking each other, it seems. Like, obviously, at least we, we saw a raid already. Huh. IV liquids to a tombstone? Green badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant. A mutant? It's all been moldering in the ground. How do we know he's not feral? That is why we... Our little friend. A chicken? Ain't a bite of chicken. <laughs> so, is it like some type of zombie? What the hell? Poor chicken. I don't want the chicken to die. Don't sacrifice his chicken. It's literally a tomb, like a casket. Casket? Is that how you call it? English? It's empty? It's too dark, I don't see. Doesn't see. Oh, yeah. oh, the cracks! <laughs> Is that the guy from the first scene? The cowboy part birthday party? No. I don't recognize him. 
He might be. <laughs> He's not going for a chicken. <laughs> Should I shoot him? Would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> we ain't where they's running from. I figured you'd be interested in is where they's running to. In California. California. In it. Originally, I mean. Where we saw the vaults. How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? Hmm. Well, for me, well. I do this shit for the love of the game. Ah! That was intense. This guy is evil and he knows what he's doing. Uh, the gal? Uh, I'm scared of this guy. Oh, he's alive. You right, friend, about one thing. I'm from California originally your last job oh. <laughs> take it as it comes oh my god that was intense and the chicken is still there it's like the test of the chicken did not work <laughs> chicken <laughs> oh and this is the end of episode one Oh my god. Oh wow, guys, this was intense. I ha ha ha. I don't know what to expect from the rest, but if the first episode was this graphic and this intense, we are ready for for a journey. I'm afraid that it might be a little too graphic for me at some parts, but I'm committed. I'm gonna check out the whole series. I think that it's only ep eight episodes in total, but I'm not sure if it's like mini series. It's eight episodes and that's it, or if it's just season one and we're gonna have more in the future. I don't know, but honestly, I'm I'm here for it. I'm yeah. Oh, this is exciting! It's giving me the chills. It's giving me the creeps goosebumps everything all together like there's so much that uh, that happened but i also get it that it was just like the introduction episode so like a lot had to happen in order for us to figure out exactly what's gonna happen in the next episodes i wonder if it's going to be moving this fast or not I don't know but yeah let me know guys what you think about the series of course like feel free to leave details and information and stuff but no spoilers please so i don't get any spoilers and like anybody else that maybe like didn't watch the next episodes yet then it doesn't get any spoilers so so yeah let me let me let me let me know if you if i miss some details if there's something that i should know holy moly this is so good this is so good wow yeah thank you so much for being here guys i'll see you at the next episode um as always of course i'm gonna link uh down below all my other socials i do stream on twitch i have a youtube music reaction channel i have a patreon for more content and uncensored, uncensored full reactions i have tiktok i have lots of stuff thank you so much for being here don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm gonna see you soon bye Mwah. <laughs>